Okay, so on this video we're going to strip the subframe. This is the front subframe, so we're going to strip all the suspension off that. The idea is I want to send this subframe away and get it blasted. So the first thing I'm going to do is, well actually the first thing I've done is take loads of photos of how everything was. The second thing we're going to do is take the brake pipes off. Um, so if you come in, and let, we'll have a look. So just on this little bit here. and touch the screen in the middle where it's on that, so it focuses. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. so with brake pipes, um, it's hard to say what size they are because for a start they're going to be rusty, they could be imperial, they could be metric, you just don't know. Uh, in my case the 10mm spanner fits the best. I do actually have some brake spanners um, which work quite well, but um, I'm renewing all the brake pipes so I don't really care what happens and I'll explain what I mean by that. So this one's coming undone. This is the one that goes from uh, either side. But the reason I'm showing you this is what you might find with brake pipes is a little job that sounds a lot more complicated. So on this one, as I turn the nut, the pipe is turning as well. And it's fairly well seized in there. So what I'm probably going to find is that it's going to twist and then shear off. It might free itself. But yeah, it has freed itself, but it's still in there. Still very tight. Like I say, I am renewing all the pipes, I really don't care less. So once I've done those, I'll then take the flexi off, and probably this copper fitting here, because that's a nice fitting, and I know they're quite a lot of money, these. Okay, so to take this fitting off, what I've had to do is I've had to support the flexi underneath, otherwise it turns, and just undo this top bit here. Oh, a tight bit, wow! And a tight one. There it goes. So that will release this lovely fitting. And while I'm there, I will also undo this nut here. Again, you have to hold the underside. I think that nut was 15 sixteenths. Okay, that wasn't overly tight. I mean, this car has been off the road for 16 years, so I am renewing all the flexes as well. Okay, so that is off. Um, I don't think I've got replacements of those nuts, so I'm going to make sure I don't lose those. So the next thing I'm going to do is remove this top suspension arm here. Now, um, to remove that you really need to compress the rubber, which is up here, uh, the suspension cone. Uh, and to do that you need a special tool. Is this all in the picture? Yeah. Yep. Um, now, on the other side, I got all the tool ready to do it, and... Uh, for a start it didn't fit, because I think this is Imperial, uh, sorry, this is metric and I needed the Imperial, but the other thing is, I didn't actually need to use it, so I don't know if that means the cones have slackened or something, but I didn't need to use it. So can you just zoom in on this bit, Emma? Okay, so if you watch this bit, can you see that it is actually slack? Now I have taken the bump stop out from there, but that would suggest there's enough slack for me to get that arm out. So what we'll do is we'll drop the top ball joint off and then we'll do the nuts on this side, okay? Okay, so I've undone the nut on this side and I've undone the two bolts on this side but not the big nut, so you should be able to tap that out. So that is the top, uh, I don't know, pivot. So that's now out. The question is, can we remove that top arm? without compressing the rubber. Okay, so I've taken the top ball joint off and that rod's out. Can we remove the suspension arm? And the answer is yes. So without compressing the rubber, I've uh, been able to remove the upper arm. Now to actually get this off, you have to get a pry bar. 
Okay, so that rubber did come out. Um, the trumpet did actually come off the rubber. It's a lot easier if it does. Uh, so now we're going to do the lower nut, uh, which is 9 sixteenths socket. Undo this and then you should be able to tap the lower one out. So that's coming undone nicely. Let's see if it will come out. Yes, it has. So you might be able to wiggle it out. I have to lift the shaft off. There we go. So that's now come out. So the bottom's now loose. So it's just this end over here. Move over here. It's just this nut over here. And then that will be the whole lot removed. Okay, so we'll just undo this. Um, these shouldn't be overly tight because they've got a rubber either side of them. And the socket size is 11 16 off. Okay so everything is now undone we should be able to get that out and then pull that out. There we go that is all the suspension and the hub removed on the front. Okay so one of the last bits we're going to do is remove these top bump stops. Um, you need to get a spanner underneath on the nut underneath and it's quite awkward. Uh, what I have found is when I've touched this one it has fallen to bits, uh, but I still got to get this nut undone. So I'll do those, and then it'll be engine mounts down there, and that'll be it. Okay, so that's the front subframe totally and utterly stripped and ready for the powder coaters. I should explain my little girl, who's nine years old, helped me film the uh, whole thing, and I think she did a fantastic job. In some cases, she didn't know what I was looking at, but it's hard to expect me to expect her to know what I'm looking at, but I think she did a really good job. Anyway, thank you for watching. Um, all those bits will now be cleaned up and hopefully I can reassemble everything on a nice new, freshly powder coated front subframe. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and watch out for some more videos.